Michigan Magazine is kept on the road by our many Michigan friends. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare. A winning combination. Cops and Donuts. It's back and making memories for a new generation. The Rustic Inn of Lewiston, now open with hot, delicious food, your favorite beverage, and an atmosphere that'll keep you coming back to make new memories and new friends. The new Rustic Inn on Red Oak Road, just south of Lewiston. Announcing the Michigan Paddle Sports Directory, or one-stop internet connection at michiganpaddlesports.com. It's now possible to explore Michigan's extensive waterways like never before. Michigan Paddle Sports Directory is a comprehensive directory of canoe and kayak rentals and liveries throughout the entire state of Michigan. At michiganpaddlesports.com, you'll find a great paddling route, outfitter, store, school, rental shop, or tour guide. Michigan's great waterways are waiting for you. Make it an adventure worth remembering by first visiting michiganpaddlesports.com. Coming up in Michigan Magazine, we visit Croswell, Michigan, the home of stained glass artist Gene Fuller. From his studio at 7 Wells Street, Gene has created a family business out of a love of this ancient art, plus has provided an outlet for other area artists at his downtown store. Then Terry Styles takes us back in time to an amazing equestrian event still going strong in Michigan. It's the Michigan Great Lakes International Draft Horse Show. Terry and crew were there during the 2013 extravaganza. Join us as we take a look at this ever-growing event. It's all coming up on Michigan Magazine. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare. What began as a crazy idea among nine police officers to purchase the historic Clare City Bakery quickly became an international phenomenon, carrying on a Michigan tradition with delicious donuts, pies, pastries, breads, original coffee, and more. Plus a full menu at the new adjacent Traffic Stop Diner. Downtown Clare, a winning combination. Cops and Donuts. It's back and making memories for a new generation. The Rustic Inn of Lewiston with hot, delicious food, your favorite beverage, and an atmosphere that'll keep you coming back to make new memories and new friends. The new Rustic Inn on Red Oak Road just south of Lewiston. The Michigan-made rebounding mailbox pool. Never again worry about the winter snowplow taking out your mailbox with this ingenious rebounding pool. Your mailbox takes a hit and keeps coming back year after year. Call now or visit their website, toughmailboxes.com. In the Thumb, Sandlack County, rests the peaceful little community of Croswell. Not far from the shores of Lake Huron, here Michigan Magazine discovered another artisan and adventure off the mainstream route. Here in downtown Croswell at 7 Wells Street, we had made arrangements to meet stained glass artist Gene Fuller. Gene and his wife Cynthia run a small side street operation called Elegant Creative Keepsakes. The combination showroom and studio highlights not only Gene's wonderful stained glass creations, but also other Michigan artists in a variety of medium. Well, here we are in beautiful Croswell, Michigan. Welcome, Barry. Thank you very much. Gene Fuller. If you want to go to a place that's off the beaten path, but well worth the drive, Croswell is a neat little village, little yeah. community, and you pretty much lived here all your life, right? Yeah. You've been away, came back, whatever. Yeah. All of the state of Michigan. But what we have here is a unique artisan who does stained glass, not only in the typical stained glass fashion, but look what we've got here. Tell us a little bit about what we've got here. This is all your uh, work, isn't it, Gene? Yeah, um, I created the trains and mm -hmm. the carousels and the... Um, Ferris wheel. My goodness, all stained glass. Now tell us yep. a little bit about your history, why you got into stained glass, how you got into the art. Oh, I had a dream about it one night. I wanted to do stained glass. So mm -hmm. my mom and dad was on my case and stuff about mm -hmm. um, getting a job and oh, stuff. Yeah. And so Charles and Victoria Fuller, and I decided, uh, I went down and I said to my dad, I want to learn stained glass. So mm -hmm. he says, um, you want to take a lesson? And I says, well, yeah, it would be nice to take a lesson. But I went and saw this guy, and uh, he says to me that, um, well, you got to buy these tools, yeah. and then you got to buy this shade, <laughs> and, and, uh, and put it together. Well, I bought the tools, and I bought the shade, right, right. and put it together. Uh -huh. and, um, and it took me... Four months to put this shade together because it had 394 pieces. Really? Yeah. Who told you how to do it? Did just you taught yourself or what? Um, More or less, or I taught myself. Yeah. Okay. Self-taught. Mm -hmm. Then I 
went on from there. Now, <laughs> now I build all this stuff. <laughs> How long ago was that, dude? Um, 15 years ago. Oh, you've come a long way, too. We've got trains and uh, uh, carousels and merry-go-rounds, Ferris wheels. Oh, yeah, and I design all of it, too. Oh, so. you, you, really, this, is, this isn't somebody else's design. This is pretty uh, much out of your head. Or the just... carousel is somebody else's You're right. design. But the Ferris wheel is my design. All the cars are my design. The uh -huh. train's my design. Oh, All boy. the night lights. Oh, the oh, clock. Yeah. yeah. Um, I redesigned it. It's designed by a book. Uh -huh. But I redesigned that one. I put the rose in it and mm, stuff in it. I thought it would beautiful. make it prettier. That's beautiful. And I, but I designed the little clock. Mm -hmm. I made that one. I also make that in um, um, different styles too. I can make it in this style like the big clock. I can put the rose in it and do any color um, you want. Uh -huh. If you want it pink, orange, right. purple, you name it's it. It's pretty I can limitless make it in the color. designs. Now these cars, do they really roll back and forth? Do they? Yep, they do roll they? back and forth. Oh, look at that. Yeah. This is from uh, 1924 fire truck City Croswell's got. Oh. Uh, a guy in Croswell has a 1924 roaster, so I, and it looks just like that. Now this is something that would take a few hours to do. Do you do more than one project at a time? Uh, yeah, if yeah. I'm busy, I'll do two or three projects at a time. Uh -huh. So they're like, if I'm doing a lamp, I have it set up on one table, and if I'm doing a train, I have it set up on another table. I just spread it out and make it evenly and stuff, so it's, right. Um, Nice and easy to handle. Right, right. But so. you know, you must have started this at your home, did yep. you? Now you're in a shop in, the, oh, in downtown really, Roswell, or what? I really started in uh, um, my mom and dad's front living room. Oh, really? Yeah, and then okay. I moved on to a garage. Okay. And I worked in a garage. And uh, then I um, moved it up here. Now, this shop, you've got a lot of your work on display here, but also as we look around, there's a lot of different artisans here, and I, I guess you've got some of your family is also artistically yeah. inclined. You're telling me who My niece, doesn't... Amanda Stewart, makes the um, oh my gosh. Um, roses and uh, the uh, swags. Uh-huh. And um, I make the stained glass. My brother-in-law makes the woodworking. <laughs> oh my gosh! He's got he's a, a contractor up by Opina. Oh. And uh, he has a workshop. My goodness! And what else do we have in here? That uh, these are a lot of if if not your family, a lot of area area artisans or Michigan artists, aren't they? Yep. A lot of things that people could come into Croswell, come down here at Seven Wells Street, right? Seven Wells. And they could just kind of lose themselves in here. And you also have a workshop in the back. We'll yep. take a look at that in sure just is. a moment. Tell us a little bit about this train. A little bit about the yeah. train. I designed it. Um, I built it because uh, my grandfather, my family worked on the railroad. Oh. And um, I wanted to give something special to my grandfather. So I built a bigger train, and I took the bigger train to crash shows. My grandfather wanted me to show him the train I mm -hmm. built, the bigger train. Mm -hmm. So people want to know if I can build smaller versions. Mm -hmm. So I built a smaller version of it. Now, how many hours did it take you? Do you, do you keep track of hours as far as the, the car? Oh, the yeah. Um, the fire truck took me probably about three weeks to build it. Mm -hmm. because I designed it too and everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, it's a step-by-step -step project you got to put it on paper and put it together all I had was a piece of tin and I looking at the original fire truck ah. so it, it's exactly about the same look of the original fire truck because I like to try to put it to detail. Uh huh. Now I, I just, we were over here in one of your rooms here, and I saw a lot of pieces and bits of uh, stained glass. But I see that you can put them to good use, like for yep. the night lights here. Yeah, I uh, build out of scraps. I build on um, night lights, like mooses <laughs> and um, angels, angels and shamrocks and snails. Did you build this too? I sure did. I built the cuckoo clock. I designed it too. My. It's the first stained glass cuckoo clock ever built. Really? Yep. Oh, here's my wife, Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. You're just in time. She just came to the door, and you're involved in what looks like a patriotic. Yes. Oh my goodness! Look at what she's got this here. This is my great niece's idea. Oh boy. She wanted a flag blanket. <sighs> so I'm working at it. Oh boy. Let's talk a little bit about this. What? Uh, 
What the, was your niece inspired this? Did she? Well, yeah, she wanted blank because uh, it was her birthday. Uh huh. I asked her what color she wanted. She said pink, and then she decided she wanted one of these. Uh huh. So I said okay. So I've been working on it pretty much <laughs> the Friday before her birthday, and she's waiting patiently. Oh, she knows she's going to get it though. Oh she yeah. Because <laughs> I know we're going to be ready for her birthday. Well, that is nice. Now, you are uh, quite the knitter. Or crochet. Is this knitting or crocheting? Okay. Uh, how, long, uh, how many hours is in that, would you say? Oh, my. I, it's uh, taken me almost a month. A month? Well, well, that's pretty good for a month. month, don't you think? Yeah, she's fast. And You're I fast. Yeah. yeah Something like that would take a lot of people months. Yeah, you know, no, no problem. So, what do you think about the shop? I mean, you and uh, Jean are involved in the, 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 the shop here. It's got the talent from the area and Jean's talent, your talent. You must be living a dream come true here in Crosswell, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, you uh, see a lot of people come through the door and probably are amazed at what they see here. Oh, yes. Yeah. They all say that it's, they've never been in a store like this. Uh -huh. They'll be back. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, I've never seen a store like this with all this stained glass either. I mean, this is a unique thing that you guys have found a niche yes. that, uh, that Jean is so talented at. First time I met Jean, I thought, oh, cool. Was he doing this when first you met her? Uh, no, he had stopped. He had stopped, but he had but he experienced had it. He had yeah, some he works. Had, you know, he had a train and his carousel and his. Uh -huh. I was busy doing. Yeah. Um, but he had them and they looked real nice. Doing our new house, which oh. is built. So mm -hmm. I was building windows for it and stained glass lamps and, and all kinds of yeah. stuff. Yeah, oh boy. Covered doors. Yeah, beautiful uh -huh. China covered cabinet. doors and uh -huh. china cabinets. Excuse me. Uh huh. My yep. gosh. Very nice. So, but you finally decided to kind of move to the store location uh, um, eventually, or how did that evolve? Well, my garage got overloaded <laughs> with cars, yeah. so I had to had to go somewhere. And right. She didn't want me to do in the house no more, so because <laughs> glass on the floor with bare feet kind of hurt. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So from their home to downtown Crosswell, the Fullers have created a little piece of artistic paradise at Seven Well Street. The morning we spent with Jean and Cynthia was wonderful as the couple went through the process of creation with us. From an idea to final product, you could tell that the Fullers were enjoying what they were doing and happy to be able to share their love of the arts with those who stopped by their new location. A piece of beauty created by the hands of an artist is always an amazing experience to be a part of. And Jean and Cynthia were gracious enough to assist us in passing their artistry on to our viewers in a couple of special gifts for the Michigan Magazine Museum. A handcrafted roadster and a huge collection of pieces dedicated to Jean's parents. An original stained glass tray that is an inspiration in itself. I'd shake your hand, but I don't want to drop yeah. this. Thank and you this very much. this is also much. signed to you guys. Okay, on the bottom And um, they're signed by me. Oh my goodness, and yes. And dated when yes. they were made. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they got um, memory of Charles and Victoria Fuller right. on the bottom of them for the museum. Okay, because that's our parents. Well, they and had something to do with this. And had, uh, <laughs> yes. my dad, Charles Fuller, had a lot to do with this. Yeah, a lot of inspiration. Got yeah, yes, got me going. Well, thank you very much, and thank you very much for appearing on Michigan Magazine. Thank you. Thank you. Michigan Magazine is being brought to you in part by Experience the Beauty, Artistry and Taste of Northern Michigan. Come to Amish Country Natural Products on Mount Tom Road, north of Mile, just off M33. From arts and crafts to fresh foods and vegetables, all natural, all local, all good. Stop by and get acquainted with Amish Country Natural Products, 1454 North Mount Tom Road, Mile. Hingeman Acres, Canoe Livery and Resort on M33, just north of Mayo, catering to the outdoor enthusiasts. Cabins, canoes, kayaks, rafts, and more. Daytime or overnight trips along the world-famous Asabo River. A family getaway for over 75 years. Clemex Sales and Service on Mapes Road, west of Mile, your complete recreational vehicle sales and service connection. Visit their beautiful showroom of new and pre-owned ATVs, lawnmowers, power equipment, snowmobiles, utility vehicles, and more. Clemex Sales and Service is also the home of the American-made Victory Motorcycle Line on display at Clemex on Mapes Road, Mile. Hi, Barry. We are at the Pavilion of, the Agri of Agriculture at Michigan State University today, and we are at the Michigan Great Lakes International Hor Draft Horse Show, and that's a mouthful. And I'm very pleased to have Aaron Rice with me, and he is the president of the association, correct? Uh, yeah, I'm the president. Um, Michigan Great Lakes International is a 37-year-old show. It started uh, way back in Detroit at the State Fairgrounds and um, 
over the years we progressed and ultimately we moved here to East Lansing and we've just been very very happy here uh, we're well accepted in the community and it's a great crowd here so that's kind of we're all, we have three breeds this is an all breed show so Pertrans, Clydesdales, Belgians we also have mules we also have pulling evenings so horse pulling farm poles lightweights heavyweights and then also all day going on out there we have plowing competitions because this is an ag community we have the ground available we have uh, plowing with horses and obstacle courses so this is a full venue show I, we're just quite a quite a group here um, this show usually hosts 33 to 35,000 exhibit uh, people every yeah you know, they just come from all over we have uh, horses here from 26 states in the United States three provinces in Canada uh, one of our Clydesdale judge today is from Scotland so uh, it's an international show and it's a well attended and a very popular show here in the Midwest what an appropriate place for the venue here in the agricultural department in the of MSU tell me a little bit about the horses themselves I know they're draft horses and they had kind of a rough start getting here to the United States. How are they still um, used for the reason that they came over? Yes, they are. The, intentionally, the intention at the beginning, they are a workhorse. They did the labor of what all machinery does today. Okay, they did the trucking. They did the plowing. They did the, everything in the ag sector. The commercial sector also. So, they. Belgians came from Belgium, Bertrands came from Perch, the county of La France, and then um, we also have the Clydes here who came from Scotland. So they are European descent and they were imported over here uh, back, oh, early, uh, just before the turn of century. So uh, yes, they are the work horses of past honor today, but here we have this show and what you ask, well, how does it relate? When everything was done with horses, such as delivering the milk, uh, all goods and commodities were hauled by them. These large companies such as the beer companies, Budweiser, Paps, uh, all of the potato companies, all of the food companies, soon they were so proud of their horses. They had stables all, you know, all over the United States, so it was natural that in competition, they soon started dressing them up, fancy harness, and competing against each other. Who had the greatest hitch? And we so celebrate that today. And so, still today, uh, heavy horses are used for plowing, logging, cultivation. Uh, we're in a community here in the Midwest where horses are prevalent and are still used today. So they are the heavy horse. They're, you know you get that gentle thing, the gentle giants, but they are a very gentle horse. They're a people horse. They love to be around people. They've worked for people all their lives and they're just a very uh, calm and very sincere demeanor. So we just love our draft horses and we celebrate them here. And the community celebrates them. Uh, this show is the largest one in horse show in Michigan. It is about the 10th largest one in the United States. And uh, we're one of the few that has the complete plowing and everything. I mean, we just, we're kind of unique to ourselves and the pulling in. So it's a very special show and it's, it's well celebrated here in Michigan. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing all of the events that you and your crew have worked so hard to put together. Thank you so much for letting us come here today. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. Have a, have a great day here. Okay, we will. Barry, stick with us because I think I'm going to watch some of those events. Hale Hardware, your do center in Hale, Michigan. Much more than a regular hardware store, providing everything you need for whatever your project is, along with a knowledgeable sales staff to get her done. Serving Northern Michigan since 1946. Hale Hardware, south of M65 at Ainsley in Hale. The Cedar Tavern and Grill of Lockton, where friends come to meet friends and families come for delicious food and a wholesome atmosphere. Come relax with your favorite beverage or bring the crew for a great meal and live entertainment. It's happening now at the Cedar of Lockton. 
Rose Valley Winery on Beachwood Road in Rose City. See what thousands are raving about, creating a delicious variety of award-winning Michigan wines. Stop by and taste for yourself. The taste of Michigan is yours at Rose Valley Winery. Thanks for joining us each week on Michigan Magazine. Don't forget, we're on the road the 4th of July weekend, bringing the cowboy lookalikes to northern Michigan to places like Coopersville, Old West Town, and the newest Wild Frontier Fun Park in Cummins, where the West comes alive with carnival rides for kids and adults in the Old West theme with a 19-hole mini golf course, batting cages, and on July the 4th, over two dozen cowboy lookalikes from around the country. We'll see you there. Here's the phrase of the week. Happy trails, everyone. We'd like to thank all those that help keep Michigan Magazine on the road. Cops and Donuts Bakery, downtown Clare. A winning combination. Cops and Donuts. For home, medical, and health care products, visit Rose City Drug at 2640 North M33, just south of Rose City City Limits. Rose City Drug has a complete diabetic department, including shoes. Serving Michigan for over 20 years. Rose City Drug, Rose City.